We're gonna go home now. And eat all this mustard. We could put it on ice cream. I'm filming this Monday morning. You'll be seeing it Wednesday, because that's when I release my episode. This morning, you and I woke up to some pretty devastating news about the mass shooting that happened in Las Vegas during the Route 91 country music concert. I hesitated bringing it up on the show. I like to keep things positive, but I feel like something like this just can't go unmentioned. I found out that a friend of mine from my time at George Fox uh, was actually there with some friends. Thankfully he and the people he was with are all okay, physically at least. I just don't, I just don't understand why, I just don't understand why anyone would, would want to do something like this. I don't really know what to say so I'm just putting words out there but really like my thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. I, I can't imagine what they're going through right now. Uh, in other news, I have been saying for quite some time that I feel like Newburg needs a place that has an excellent breakfast sandwich. I don't know of anywhere around here that serves one. However, I recently learned that these guys do serve a breakfast sandwich. So I'm gonna go give it a try and let you know what I think. Mm-hmm. I need to get my coffee. That's good coffee. Okay, that breakfast sandwich is a game changer. So happy to know that we have in Newburgh a place that serves a quality breakfast sandwich. Thanks, coffee cat. A couple weeks ago, I put out a post on the page asking for questions. If you had any questions that you wanted to ask, you could. Some people responded, so I figured I would take some time to answer those now. Here we go. Leah asked, where's the best place to eat dinner within five miles of George Fox University? In parentheses, affordable, AKA not the Allison. One of my personal favorites is Babaka Hen. Excellent service, excellent food, not too bad on the wallet. Justin asks, what has made your show such a hit? I paid him to say that. Tiffany asks, how do you decide what businesses you will be featuring? Really, I have no uh, set way that I decide which businesses I'll be featuring. It's really just a matter of what Danik and I are doing or where I'm at that plays into it. I am thinking about going back to doing some more like proper business reviews where I interview the owners. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in the comments below. Bill asks, is the next episode going to be Saturday on the bypass? I'm guessing yes. Spoiler alert. Daniel, who's your favorite soccer player? Daniel, how did you know I like soccer? Cristiano Ronaldo, in addition to being an excellent player, he's also a really cool dude. Valerie, what's it like to be Ferris? <laughs> She refers to me as Ferris Bueller quite often because of the quirky ways I do my transitions in these vlogs. Kyle, this is an awesome question. If you could personally witness one thing in history, what would you have wanted to see? Cool, that is an excellent question. Jesus feeding the 5,000. That would have been a pretty incredible miracle to witness. Isamar asks, 
what's your favorite go-to place in Newburgh? At the moment, I would probably say Social Goods. It is such a family-friendly environment. It's one of the few places that we can take Tilia. At least upstairs, she has the ability to kind of roam around and play. Plus, they have excellent grilled cheese sandwiches and an excellent tap list. Now that I know about these breakfast sandwiches at Coffee Cat, there's a decent chance that you'd find me there, a quiet spot to get some work done and enjoy a good breakfast sandwich. Okay, I am gonna end the Q&A right there. If you enjoyed this, let me know and leave some more questions. I'd love to answer them. Danica and I are gonna go have a nice little date ski now. Barley and Vine. You want to know how to make me? There you go. So I know it's incredibly dark, but we had a pretzel with some cheese sauce. And delicious mustard, and I love mustard. Danica, the way she is, asked for some mustard to go. They didn't have any <laughs> little to-go cups, so they gave her this. Mason jar full of mustard. Just made my day. Mason jar full of mustard. Scored me some major points. Officially a love of this place. You're covering my face. <laughs> We're gonna go home now. And eat all this mustard. We could put it on ice cream.